Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have very interesting and I would say like really tricky question, so you can easily see this question in the middle of the screen here. So we have 4 plus 4 divided by 2 and 1 plus 1 in parentheses. And right here we have three options, so here's like the main question, what is the correct answer, uh, what is the correct solution to this uh, question? Right here on the left side we have three options, option A, option B and option C. So right now I suggest you to test your algebra skill, to, to test your al uh, basic algebra concept and right now try to solve this question and write your solution in the comments below and write your your answer a b b or c it will be really interesting to check the answers in the end of the video so before the video i made a quick poll and here's a result so right here we can see a percentage of people choosing uh, each option a b or c so 34 uh, percent of people choose option c as a correct answer 36 uh, percent of people choose option b as a correct answer and 30 percent of people choose option a uh, as a correct answer and here's like the main thing because what makes all the difference in in the world in the order we do this problem because like 34% of students of people choose option C as a correct answer, 30% of people choose option A as a correct answer and we can't solve this question with the two different answers so we can't write over here equal sign and correct answer are both like 5 for example and 8. This is really weird so we need to know, we need to learn the thing which is called order of operation because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer so right now let's forget a little bit about this about these uh, polls about this thing and right now let's try to learn a basic stuff okay let me just erase all of this stuff forget a little bit about it and right now let's learn a little bit about basic algebra algebra concepts so as i said before we're interested in the thing which is called order of uh, order of operation and here's like a quick example we have four plus four times two and why is it important to follow the order of operation because if you're looking on the first side this is very basic question, so and a lot of students might be asking uh, what is the correct answer to this question? And uh, you know, right here we have two branches. So the first branch right here we have on the on the left side and the second branch we have on the right side. And a lot of students might be asking why do we need these branches? This is a very easy question. We have 4 plus 4 uh, times 2. And right now, as I said before, what makes all the difference in the world in the order we do this problem? Because right here we have 4 plus 4 times 2. So let's start, for example, the first group of people might be saying, okay, let's start with this addition. And when we start with it, we have 4 plus 4 we're gonna do at first, as a result we have 8, yeah? And we still need to multiply it by, by these two. So as a result we have we have 16. So here's our answer uh, according to a first branch. So 16 is a correct answer. But another person of, uh, of people might be saying, okay, maybe I need to multiply it first. Okay, so as a result we have right here we have 4 times 2, we have multiplication at first. And then as a result we have 8 right here when we multiply it and we have 4 plus 8 equal to 12 and a lot of students might be confused because we have two different answers and they may be thinking what, what goes wrong what's wrong with this with this uh, order of operation so as i said before we're interested in a correct order of operation because obviously whatever order of operation you select is going to create a different answer and right now we have to consider what order of operation do we follow and which one is extremely important for for us so right now i'm going to show you a really quick really briefly like for a few seconds i'm going to show you a really important really important part this part is called order of operation so as i said before maybe a lot of students might be asking what does it mean order of operation i would like to stop really briefly because in, in the world there are two most popular order of operations like 65 percent of people prefer pemdas order of operation 35 percent of people prefer bodmas order of operation and there is no different there are no difference uh, between this order of operation okay PEMDAS uh, like uh, it's it depends on where do you live like we're talking about regions and description a lot of people from from these um, regions they use PEMDAS order of operation maybe in the UK India people use and these bodmas but doesn't matter where do you live we're talking about the same meaning so we are talking about the same order of operation it just depending on what country you live in and each of these letters stands for different for different thing for example this letter B stands for brackets right here letter P stands for parentheses but the meaning is absolutely the same we are talking about group and symbols. So for further calculation, I'm going to use PEMDAS order of operation. So I need to learn real quick this thing, like the first thing, parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and, and subtraction. So that's why we are talking about, we're talking about PEMDAS. So it means we are these first letters. So that's why we learn about this PEMDAS order of operation, okay? And right now, when we know about order of operation, so we know about it, we know how can we do it from the top to the bottom right here. So the first thing, parentheses, the next exponent, multiplication, division. So right now, now we can easily solve our question yeah we can easily solve it here's our question and here's our order of operation so as i said before i'm going to use pemdas order of operation yeah we're talking about parentheses exponents multiplication division addition and and subtraction so as i said before we are talking about priorities so we're on the higher position we have higher priority 
and lower position we have we have lower priority elements and as i said before we need to go from the top to the bottom and the first thing what are we going to do how can you solve this question okay every time you have this numerical expression for example you see it in your exam every time just write this quick checklist on the on the right side and how does it work so right now step by step i'm going to explain you how can we work with this with this with this checklist so first of all parentheses has the highest priority so just underline it we are talking about this type of brackets and uh, maybe this type of brackets maybe this type of brackets it depends on what country you live in and right now let's try to scan where do we have parentheses so here's our question let's scan where do we have it obviously we have parentheses right here so our first step is to evaluate expression in parentheses okay so we, we have parentheses yeah we, we do so right now we need to evaluate expression at first so as a result uh, my quick recommendation like don't jump from from left to right just do it step by step so we have four plus four divided by two and in parentheses so we have one plus one equal to equal to two right now really a like confusing moment because a lot of students might be thinking maybe these two we can actually get rid of these parentheses or we can't here's my quick recommendation we solve this question according to a basic order of operation pemdas and a lot of students might be asking okay maybe we need to learn about pejmdas like implicit multiplication but uh, pejmdas is like a special case so we are talking about a classic case pemdas uh, maybe 90 percent of people use pemdas and pejmdas is like a special case when you need to like uh, we need to underline that we have a multiplication by juxtaposition or different other different thing we're talking about basic order of operation and according to basic order of operation so whenever we have like one constant in parentheses you can actually get rid of this parentheses because we have only two so it doesn't matter we have three or three with parentheses two this the same mm, these are the same thing so right now let's do it so first of all we need to actually get rid of these parentheses four plus four divided by two and times two so i really hope you understand these first steps we complete these parentheses parentheses part right now let's go to the next part next part is exponent so we need to find where do we have these powers yeah like two squares three cube let's find where do we have it so we are talking about this part we're talking about this part so right now let's scan even this part if we're talking about this part this part does, does not have um, exponents yeah we're talking about this part we don't have exponents we don't have powers even this one because this is absolutely the same part as we had before so we can actually skip this part so if you don't have this part you can actually skip it even if we don't have exponents so we can actually write we can actually underline that we don't have don't have exponents in our question let's go to the next step so as you can see this like a quick like a ladder so we just go from the, from the top to the bottom from the top to the bottom we're talking about like parentheses the next thing exponents like division multiplication addition you know this like a quick ladder and we just go step by step so we have parentheses and we don't have exponents really great right now the next part the next part is a little bit confusing because this is one group multiplication division is one group a lot of students might be asking maybe multiplication first or division first or how can we work with it this is so confusing but here's my quick recommendation this is one group so every time you have a numerical expression with multiplication and division you need to underline where do you have this multiplication and division uh, division signs let's do it where do we have it so let's scan okay right here we have addition right here we have division so we need it and right here we have we have multiplication so whenever we have expression with the mixture of multiplication and division you need to do it in a strict order from from left to right in this case here's our main question so let me just underline this with the, with these brackets here's our main question what comes first from left to right division or multiplication obviously division comes first from left to right so we need to do division first and multiplication second but if we have multiplication and division make sure obviously multiplication we will solve at the first step and division as a second step okay i really hope you understand it so with our question we just forget a little bit about this uh, about this addition and this place yeah because we obviously the uh, division and multiplication had the higher priority uh, than uh, addition and subtraction so division we're gonna do we're gonna do at first let's do it so we just rewrite our expression four plus four divided by two equal to two and we still have this multiplication so as i said before quick recommendation like don't jump just do it step by step so here is our first step we just do we just do it and we uh, divide four divided by two from here yeah and second step we just multiply it by by these two so as a result we have times times two okay here's our here's our question right now uh, our last step obviously we need to multiply it right here so we have two times two equal to uh, equal to four so as a result we have four plus right here we have four so we complete this multiplication and division part so we complete it we have both we have multiplication and division we obviously we complete it this part and we just go to the last step the last step is addition and and subtraction obviously we have only uh, only addition so we can actually do this without order of operation because four plus four equal to 
equal to 8. And this is our answer. And here's my quick tip, quick, quick uh, hint to you, because uh, as I said before, in the beginning we had a lot of different combination, a lot of different uh, order of operations, a lot of students might be thinking maybe th uh, three factorial, or I don't actually remember what what we uh, was talking about uh, in, the, in, the, in the beginning of the video, but uh, the main thing, we just uh, we just thought that maybe we have two different answers, like uh, like three or, or five, something like that. And according to order of operation, we have only one answer. So we can actually get rid of these uh, weird thoughts, or maybe we have two different answers, maybe we have, uh, how can we work with it, uh, two different uh, two different approaches. We have one, uh, only one answer, eight is a correct answer, according to PEMDAS order of operation. And PEMDAS is the most popular order of operation in the world, so you can actually say that eight is 100% a correct answer uh, to this question. And right now, just keep in mind this eight. And I want to I want to go back uh, in the previous in the previous moment. So right here, I want to go back right here, because as I said before, we have two different branches, but we can't solve this question with the d two different answers. So let me just erase all of this stuff. And here's like a quick test for you. Maybe a lot of students out there. Maybe a lot of a lot of teachers. So right now, instantly, like in a few seconds, try to guess which branch is a correct, like this branch or this branch. So right now, we know about order of operation. We know about PEMDAS order of operation. Uh, we are really proud of ourselves that we know about it. So right now, try to guess what branch is uh, a correct. What which branch is a correct? Uh, according to this question. So we have right here 4 plus 4 times 2. This one or or this one. And I'll give you like a few seconds because maybe you you you, you need a time to, to guess about it. And here's my quick, quick, quick tip. Okay, what do we have right here? We have the addition and we have multiplication. So let me just underline. Where do we have multiplication right here? At this place. Where do we have addition? At this place. So what comes first from left to right? Because I I, I draw this uh, I draw this like uh, horizontal, not like vertical as we had as we had be, as we had before, like this one. Okay. So we, I draw this uh, uh, according to this like our mm, our vertical. This our horizontal. So we're talking about left to right. So what comes first from left to right? Of course, multiplication. So we need to do multiplication and multiplication first. And here's our second branch. So I'm really proud of you if you solve this question uh, correctly. So first, think multiplication and then and then addition. This is absolutely absolutely wrong. I just draw this uh, because I wanted you to see this um, to see this question from a different angle in comparing comparing to the other uh, to the other branches. So this is absolutely wrong every time you have numerical expression. So let me just erase all of this stuff and give you like a quick hint. So every time you have a mixture of addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication, every time you need to do first every time 100 uh, percent division first and then multiplication not like uh, maybe multiplication first then division but this group comes first from left to right so first thing division multiplication and second thing addition and subtraction so addition and subtraction in the end so this is like a quick a uh, quick tip so you of course you can do addition before division but you need to have like maybe parentheses maybe something like that but maybe because parentheses has the higher priority so there are a lot of combination this is not like 100 uh, percent rule but according to a basic uh, basic algebra properties every time you have these uh, expressions, these mathematical operators, of course, without parentheses and without powers. If you have it, it goes in a different direction because sometimes you have like addition in parentheses. So we need to do like this addition in parentheses and then division, a lot of combination. But if you have this a mixture of four mathematical operators, division, multiplication first, and then addition and, and subtraction. So that's why I draw this graph because a lot of students might be asking, why do we need this? Okay, I saw this question like that and this is a correct answer. Another group of people might be saying, I saw this question like that and this my answer and that's why I draw this I draw this quick I write this quick example for you because one of this is absolutely one of these example is absolutely uh, of these two examples is absolutely uh, wrong and this one is absolutely absolutely wrong so I hope you understand it and right now let's go uh, let's go with this place so we solve this question eight is a correct answer so right now let's go to the beginning and let's see where do we have this option so as I said before here is our beginning where do we have this yeah we have this eight as a correct answer but as you can see this question goes uh, in a wrong direction for for a lot of a uh, lot of students because a lot of students choose option uh, C as a correct answer a lot of students choose option A as a correct answer and of course 30 36 percent of people choose Choose option C, option B, sorry, as a correct answer, and they can easily be proud of or you can easily be proud of yourself that you solve this question absolutely correct. But if you solve this question and you say that correct answer is 
Option A, you need to review a little bit your basic math because this is very, very bad. And option C, if you choose option C as a correct answer, you need to review a little bit about, about basic math. What about option B? You can a little bit proud of yourself that you solve this question uh, in this way and you solve this question and you say that the correct answer is is uh, op option B. So we really hope you understand this uh, quick class, quick quick uh, lesson, uh, quick uh, quick question. So it's not that hard, but a lot of but a lot of students, as you can see, according to this poll, a lot of students goes in a different uh, direction. They solve this question in a wrong way, and I really hope you understand understand this uh, quick class. So once more, here is our question. Every time you have this uh, question, every time just think a little bit about order of operation. So I can solve this question in different uh, different ways, like according to this way according to this way but uh, how can I solve this question correctly well I need to re review a little bit my basic math and I need to learn this thing which is called order of operation and if I knew it everything gonna be great uh, everything uh, gonna be great 100% because every time you have this numerical expression you just draw this quick checklist on the right side and you solve this question in a correct in a correct order so I want to say thank you everyone for watching thank you for for watching this video thank you for supporting this video a quick class for everyone for all people all over the world doesn't doesn't matter you you love math or you you, you don't I think everyone should know these basic things because a lot of students might be thinking maybe they forget uh, some stuff from school and they might be thinking okay i remember maybe from left to right so i just need to do addition first and then division and then parentheses and then other people like might be thinking okay division comes first if you're talking about uh, comparing it to to addition so let's do division first and another part of students might be thinking maybe parentheses at first and you know it turns into a big argument and if we don't need it we need to know about order of operation and this is like uh, i'm, I'm going to say this is like a uh, 20 second question for everyone if you solve this question quickly without any problems you can easily be proud of yourself if you solve this question in the wrong way you can easily learn this part which is called order of operation which is extremely helpful for everyone and i really hope you uh, you enjoyed so thank you for your time have a great day see you in the next videos so i would say thank you for watching this uh, this channel this content different question i try to find a different uh, question with the with the weird with the uh, like confusing moments because everyone should learn this from from a different uh, from a different uh, direction so wish all the best in your life take care of yourself have a great day see you in the next videos